Good morning. It is Friday morning, October 7th, a little after 7 a.m. on the east coast of the United States. So I want to take you over here and show you something. If you remember, I told you that my daughter had gotten me an orchid plant for my birthday, and I have already had one orchid that I've had for like, I don't know, four years or something. And but and it lived on my kitchen counter. Well, two orchids are not going to fit. Thought, where am I going to put them? Well, let me show you. So I have this sewing table, and I have this art light. You know, it's one of these daylight kind of lights. So I decided I would put them on the sewing table. So that's going to work out perfectly. Anyway. So this morning, I'm going to have a little bit of an interesting combination of coffee and syrup, okay? So I've got a little bit of warmed up milk in here. I've got my Virtuo and I've got some pumpkin spice cake coffee for the Virtuo. Now, oh, you know what? I may need some more water in there. That's getting low because this is an eight ounce cup of coffee. Always helps to use filtered water in your coffee machine because when that water heats up and evaporates and everything, it can leave residue in the machine, especially if you've got hard water like I do. So, okay, we've got water, we've got our capsule. In. Now I'm gonna put the syrup in that I'm going to use. This is uh, Skinny Syrup at, from SkinnyMixes.com. This is gingerbread latte. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, so a little caution. When you have a bottle shaped like this, be careful pouring it in. Not like what I just did. Maybe put your finger here and go slowly to balance it. Because you've got this great big volume of water and if you tip it too quickly, see how this fills up? Okay. That's what happened to me. I should have done it like that. So, um, hopefully this mixture is going to taste good. I may need to stop the extraction of the coffee sooner um, if it threatens to overflow. You know what? It's not going to froth up, I mean, you know, swell up that much since this is not froth milk. But, um, yeah, I'll just keep an eye on it. So... This morning, it's about 52 degrees here, uh, but it's supposed to go up to something like 89. In the afternoons, it's been great. You know, you could even wear shorts and a tank top in the afternoons. It's, it's been dry and the sun is so nice and hot, but there's been a cool breeze. Weather that we don't often see here is probably more common, uh, it's more common to the Northwest United States, that is, um, than it is to South Georgia, but I'm so glad we're getting a little bit of it. Oh, it's really nice. Let's see here. Oh, I, I don't know. Can't tell. I don't think my nose has woken up quite this morning. Anyway, so I've got pumpkin spice cake coffee from Nespresso. I've got gingerbread latte skinny syrup from, it's Jordan skinny syrup from skinnymixes.com. They also sell this stuff at good prices at places like TJ Maxx. And whereas online you might pay six or seven dollars for this at TJ Maxx, you probably only pay four dollars. Okay, so it all fit in the cup. We're good here. We can grab the cap set. Okay, so I've got a lovely, lovely cup. 
Well, looks lovely. We'll see how it tastes, right? So what's the weather like where you are? I know some people, it's, you know, turned really cold already for you. Usually it doesn't get really cold here until January or February. Okay. Now the question is, did I put too much syrup in? So, I'm tasting a lot of gingerbread-y kind of flavor, which is okay. Has a little bit too much syrup for me because it's kind of hiding, oh, it's sort of hiding some of the coffee flavor. Okay, do you know what I'm gonna do? Well, I'm gonna take a few more sips, then I'm gonna stick it in the fridge. Maybe I'll use it as a base for a shake later because I'm headed over to my daughter's house uh, to babysit the kids for about an hour. And she has an espresso over at 2 So I will make myself a cup of coffee over there that I have not sort of semi-spoiled by putting in too much syrup. I mean, this is okay, but I can't hardly taste the coffee anymore. Oh my gosh. Well, I gotta get going. I need to rush on over there so I can have some decent time for coffee before I have to watch those kids. I hope you have a good day. Be careful pouring out of those kind of bottles. <laughs>